Hey everyone, welcome back to How to Be a Poser. Today I'm going to focus less on screen accuracy and more on adding a little bit of the dynamic to take the character a little bit outside the box. To do that, I'll be using the Hot Toys Boba Fett Deluxe six scale figure. Let's get started. All right, here it is. The Boba Fett Deluxe six scale figure by Hot Toys. Still in his box, exactly the way he's going to come to you. Look at all this cool stuff. It's essentially two figures in one. You've got two jetpacks, two rifles. Do whatever you want with this thing. I can't wait to see what I can do with it, so let's get rolling. All right, here's Fett, ready to rock. Uh, we're just going to do, for this initial pose, we're gonna be all about presence with this. So I just wanna establish some attitude with Fett um, and just kind of get basically your iconic Boba Fett pose dialed in for this first one. Uh, we'll do something really awesome later on down the line with those extra pieces there. I really wanna attack that, uh, I really wanna attack those alternate concept uh, pieces just to see how cool we can make this thing look. But for now, um, I, it's, it's been my experience with Boba Fett that it's best to put his hand onto the gun before putting the hand onto the wrist. So I've done that. Let's just go ahead and replace that hand then. Be really careful. Look at all those tiny little plastic bits there. And this hose, if that pulls out, don't panic. It just plugs right back in and hides in there in the sleeve. It's just, not, there's nothing connecting it. It's not supposed to, it just kind of hangs out. It's good design, really. All right, that slid on there relatively easily. That's a relief. Um, so let's see what sort of collision, if any, happens here. All right, that's interesting. Look what they've done there. This this strap is actually pretty malleable. You can uh, you can create curves however you like with it. That just smoothed out really nicely. So I'm going to play with that a little bit later on down the line. All right, let's see. Hand number two. It's tempting to go for the premium format pose on this one, but uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go straight forward, cradling the gun, pure Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett. And I think, yeah, this is the hand I'm looking for. Again, even more so than on the other um, band brace. Watch this. Look at that. That's pretty flexible. Good on Hot Toys for choosing to go with that kind of plastic. But we do not want to break it, obviously. So I'm being very gentle pushing this hand into the, uh, onto the wrist bag. Cool. All right, that's done. That's one of the hard parts. The other hard part is gonna be just getting these weapons to, there we go. <laughs> Not so hard after all. Oh, I love you, Hot Toys. Man, really on point. Anyway, going to slide this hand up here just a little bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna go all in and see if I can't Get this up. Posers reserve the right to change their minds. There's that bit in the Cloud City scene where Luke is stalking Fett and his entourage, so to speak, as they're moving Han Solo to, to Slave One. And I think I'm just, Fett comes back around the corner and he takes a few shots at Skywalker. Pretty cool scene even though Fett misses, which... Although you could make the argument that uh, Fett actually missed on purpose because he knows how important it is to Lord Vader for him to uh, have Skywalker alive, so... All right. Got that, all right, cool. Man, that looks pretty darn good, man. I was, I'm, I was just really impressed that there, there are no uncomfortable collisions. The uh, stock of the gun is resting nicely up against his shoulder there. Now, just to kind of make it look cool and believable and also have that balance. So I'm gonna have him kind of just striding like he's taking a step forward. Oh, I forgot a couple key pieces here. While I continue to dress this figure, I'm just gonna put it on the stand temporarily. But I actually neglected to add these parts to his pouches on his legs. Almost had another Anakin moment there. So this one goes there. That one goes there. Uh, 
this guy comes over here on this side. There we go. It was a tight squeeze for that one, but yeah, I got it in there. All right, cool. There we go. Everything's at home. Very cool. Now, and now we also have to put these spats on them, which is not something that I've had to do with a, with a FET figure before that I can remember. Kind of fun, kind of welcome, not built in. One. Let's get this other one over here. God, those look really good. I'm glad they went with that that option. Just watch these spats because there's a there's a strap back here that downsize is okay, but I think that it probably benefits from having the spats covered a little bit. So, and then make sure the pants kind of react to the gravity there. Okay, now to get the uh, backpack on. This sort of system for installing the packs is challenging. All right, guys, I've had to bring in a tool for this. If you have to use pliers, I recommend gripping the D-ring by the strap that it's connected to. It actually gives you quite a bit more play, and it has the added benefit of protecting your plastic from any damage that can be caused by the pliers. I just don't have a good line of sight here. There we go. All right one down. Now, when you get the first one down, maintain some downward pressure on the D-ring that you've actually got in place. Otherwise, while you're messing with this one, you run the risk of lifting the hook off of the D-ring and having to do it all over again. So keeping that pressure, downward pressure on the one on the right, I'm trying to hook the one on the left. First try. All right, finally, finally we got the whole uh, thing dressed up here. I keep forgetting parts, but I think we've got them all now. Okay, let's get rid of that stand for the time being. All right, so I'm gonna drop that elbow a little bit on the suggestion of the camera man, because he uh, he has a better idea. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not a poser, <laughs> but he's not opposed to being a poser. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is actually gonna be a little bit more stylized than, uh, than Jerry Bullock's performance was. I'm okay, I'm comfortable with that. I thought about just going, you know, because in the in the movie when he's attacking Skywalker, Fett is pretty stoic. He's pretty much got this straight up and down posture. It's like he walks around the corner like, what's up? Brings his gun up and starts firing. But I just want to add a little bit more dynamism. Is dynamism a word? I just want to make this a little bit more dynamic. And, you know, just bit, a bit more of a crowd pleaser that way. You have to say that in the... Star Wars fandom, there's a, there's a bit of a disconnect between how Boba Fett actually performed on screen and what everybody's opinion of the character is. And I think that this, if you add a little bit more aggression to the posture, that brings it more in line with, with the bounty hunter we all feel we've come to know and love. Let's get that gun up. I want him to be able to sight down it. Pretty much straightforward. Let's check these Wookiee braids. I don't want them all crazy, laying in weird angles. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Have that one flying around a little bit. Okay, be mindful of these, uh, these braces. You really want to focus on getting them pushed up because there's a ball joint that will be visible there if you don't. You can see this one here doing the same thing. And glad I caught that because look right there, that van brace is definitely rotated about 90 degrees from where it ought to be. You want the hand to be, the top of the hand to be parallel with the top of the van brace. Slide it up so that it's covering that unsightly ball joint. And a little bit more of a, again, once this comes out, don't sweat it, just tuck it back in. And I thought I liked that Wookiee braid being right there, but I really don't. Okay. Just about there. Um, just a few more tweaks just to get that, uh, that level of aggression that I'm trying to get here. I want to bend his knee just a little bit more, twist his torso, and yeah. That kind of looks like he's firing from cover a little bit, coming around a corner which is really what I was going for in the first place. Inspired by a scene in Empire Strikes Back, but not a direct copy of the scene from Empire Strikes Back. 
Futzing, futzing, futzing. It feels like half my life is futzing. All right, and that's pretty good. Like you can just barely see the uh, mythosaur skull poking out there. I've always enjoyed watching the evolution of Boba Fett's costume, from his beginnings in the all-white Super Trooper armor, to the Empire costume, to the different colors and everything in the Jedi costume. Fans of Fett are fanatical in their attention to detail on these things, and having this version, it nicely fills in a gap in that evolution. Hey, did you like that video? Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen and click that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under Product Info. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.